Did you know that the world's oldest known recipe is for beer? Quite surprising, isn't it? When you think of the earliest forms of sustenance, you might imagine bread, perhaps meat, but beer. That's an unexpected twist. This ancient recipe isn't a recent discovery, mind you. It dates back over 4,000 years. Now let's travel back in time to the cradle of civilization, the land of the ancient Sumerians. This is where our story begins. The Sumerians were not just pioneers in writing and agriculture, they were also the master brewers of their time. They were the ones who etched this age-old beer recipe onto clay tablets, ensuring that their favorite brew would stand the test of time. So, raise your imaginary ancient beer mug and prepare yourself for an intoxicating journey into the past. Let's dive into the fascinating story of the world's oldest known recipe. The ancient Sumerians, an innovative civilization, weren't just pioneers in writing and agriculture, but also in brewing. Beer held a special place in their society, not just as a recreational beverage, but as a key part of their diet and a sacred offering in religious ceremonies. Yes, you heard right. Beer was a food source, consumed daily by adults and children alike. Now let's talk about how they brewed this beloved beverage. The Sumerians used barley, a grain native to their region, which they first soaked in water and allowed to germinate, creating malt. This malt was then mixed with water and allowed to ferment, a process that magically transformed it into beer. This was no casual hobby, but a serious craft with dedicated brewers who were often women. They even had a goddess of beer, Ninkasi. Indeed, beer was so significant that the Sumerians even had a goddess of beer, Ninkasi. Now let's uncover the specifics of this 4,000-year-old beer recipe. The steps to creating this ancient Sumerian brew, as recorded on clay tablets, are intriguingly simple yet vastly different from our modern brewing process. The primary ingredients were barley, water, and yeast. Barley, a grain native to the region, was the main source of sugar needed for fermentation. The process began by soaking the barley in water, allowing it to sprout. The sprouted barley was then dried and crushed to produce malt. This malt was mixed with water and left to ferment, thanks to wild yeasts present in the air. Here's where things get interesting. The Sumerians also baked a special type of bread, known as bapir, made from the same barley malt. This bread was then crumbled into the fermenting mixture, providing additional sugars for fermentation and contributing to the beer's distinctive flavor. The resulting brew was a far cry from the clear, fizzy beer we're accustomed to today. It was likely a cloudy, porridge-like concoction full of floating bits of bread and malt. As for the taste, it's speculated to have been sour and tangy, with a hint of sweetness from the malt. The Sumerians did not have the luxury of hops for flavoring or preservation, so their beer was enjoyed fresh, and often as a communal activity, drunk through reed straws from a shared vessel. Despite the differences from today's beer, this ancient recipe shows the timeless appeal of this beloved beverage. This ancient beer recipe isn't just a curious historical fact. It carries significant cultural and historical implications. Indeed, our ancient Sumerian beer recipe highlights the pivotal role beer played in societies of yore. Beer was not merely a beverage, it was a cornerstone of their culture, a dietary staple, and a symbol of their civilization. This frothy brew was intertwined with their daily life, their rituals, their celebrations, and even their economy. The Sumerians considered beer a gift from the gods, a divine concoction that was integral to their religious ceremonies. It was offered to deities, used in sacrifices, and shared at communal festivals. In essence, beer was a sacred liquid that connected the mortal realm with the divine. Beyond religion, beer was also a vital part of their diet, in a time when potable water was not always readily available, beer served as a safe and nutritious alternative. It was consumed by adults and children alike, and was often used as a form of currency. The common phrase, a day's wage, was often understood to mean a day's worth of beer. The discovery of this ancient recipe has deepened our understanding of these ancient civilizations, allowing us a glimpse into their practices, their beliefs, and their way of life. It's a testament to human innovation and the enduring power of tradition. So next time you enjoy a cold one, remember that you're partaking in a tradition that dates back thousands of years to the oldest known recipe in the world.